Hi everyone, Jan Fursden here from Fursden House and I'm back with my fourth video, four out of six videos that I'm going to be doing for you. And this is to show you my lace and fabric folio style journal packets. Um, as I mentioned in my first video, each journal packet is approximately five and a half inches wide, eight and a quarter inches long, and they're about two inches thick. Um, the closures are either in a cream velvet ribbon or a white embroidered ribbon. And they are listed in my Etsy uh, for sale. I'll be putting that link below as well. Um, what had actually happened was I had meant to create a large, <laughs> somewhat large, uh, lace and fabric journal. I'd never made one, and I was so excited that I got a little carried away. Okay, a lot carried away. And by the time I was going to be finished with it, it was going to be over 8 inches thick, which, of course, is totally unreasonable and so I pulled back and then decided to create packets instead. So I actually ended up having more fun than just a, just the with the one. So on this one, this again is the fourth one that I've created. We'll open it up. And this is some of the most beautiful. Um, it's antique. I believe it belonged to a, a scarf that went over a piano. They used to have these grand pianos way back when, when people had houses that were large enough to hold them and and they would put scarves over it to, as a decorative means. And I think this is where this came from. I have several pieces of it. And the detail is just phenomenal. It's a very pale mauve. And for you guys, that would be a pale pinkish, perhaps. I don't know. My husband gets so tickled when I use the word mauve. It's like, whatever. So, but anyway, there's the front. And here's the reverse. You can see it better this way. And this one does not have a pocket on the front. I've left it just so that you can admire the beauty of the actual piece there. And inside, there are, this one is a, a double pocket. You have this one here. The pocket itself is made out of vellum. I love that sound. It's just so neat. And inside that bottom pocket is this journal. And you have the the pink flowers with the little pearl centers. And here we have some paper. Again, I've had this paper for ages. I don't know where I got it. I think I got it at a thrift shop. And it's just beautiful. And But I, it never worked with anything else I did. And finally I got to use it on this project. So plenty of journaling space. And then inside here, two hidden pockets see there we have a journaling tag so there's lots of space for your own notes or whatever your own ephemera and another journaling tag there we go and it sits in the bottom and then in this envelope we have lace here of course and then a little flower and open it up and we I've just put in two more tags here because I wanted you to have plenty of space to put in your own notes and writings and what have you articles you might want to save any kind of just something special to put away just for you and that vellum I don't know if you can see it I'm not sure if the camera is showing it really well but you can see it has a slight pattern in it and it's just beautiful need to order some more actually. I got this packet at a thrift shop. It's amazing what you can find at thrift shops. But I wanted to get some more of it because I'm almost out. In this pocket, this one is from, oops, what's a little? This is from a, a vintage piece of um, a doily. A dresser scarf, I believe is what it was. And then of course we have this journal here. Let me just show you like this first. We have the pockets. We have, again, more journal space. Seam binding uh, ribbon at the top. Here we have a little fold out, just a little bit of lace on there. And then it just comes down like that. Velcro closure. I'm loving these little Velcro closures. So simple to use. I was going to use magnets, but 
I couldn't find any the size that I wanted and I, I didn't want to order any and I got lazy and then I saw these uh, Velcro closures and I was like, yes, that's exactly what I want. And I think I have got those at Michael's, I believe. Hobby Lobby carries them, Joann's carries them, all of your specialty stores like that will carry them. Okay, so there's that. And then on the inside, again, plenty of journaling space. Two stickers here. I'm not sure what company they came from. If I can find that information, I'll put a, a link below, but I honestly don't remember. Um, these, however, are die cuts from the Tim Holtz Botanical Collection. I love that collection. When I saw it, I just, oh, it was fantastic. Such beautiful flowers and birds and butterflies. So there's that one. And put him in here. And then we have the reverse. We have two belly bands made of lace. And then we have this large, large envelope. Velcro closures. I left this empty because I wanted it to slide under here and also just to, it was so pretty, just leave it alone. But you could actually even journal on it if you wanted to. Anyway. Inside we have lots of, I'm sure I've got them all out, lots of journaling cards and tags. Places to write, some on the front, some on the reverse. You can see how pretty that is. These you write on the front. There's the reverse. But writable space in all of it. It just slides right in here. And then on the reverse, I have a paper belly band. Let's see if I got this upside down. Here we go. I'm notorious for that. Some larger journal cards that you can write on. Beautiful papers. See? Another one upside down. And another one upside down. I'm very good at this. At least I am consistent. I thought that was especially pretty. I'm glad I don't have to dress like that anymore. Well, I don't suppose I ever did, but I'd hate to have to think I would. No wonder we took forever to get dressed back in the day. Just a little decorative paper clip there. Let me slide this right in here. And this goes right in there. Okay, so this is the um, the fourth journal packet that I'm offering. Again, the uh, the Etsy link will be listed below if you're interested in purchasing it. See if I can get this on here without too much trouble. I hope you enjoyed the uh, the video. Please feel free to leave me any questions or comments you may have, any suggestions for improvement. It's been a while since I've done videos and I can really tell it. It's like, ugh, this is like the third go to get all of these things videotaped. So I was not happy with that. But maybe the third time's the charm. I hope. There that is. So, um, again, just leave me any questions you may have. I hope you have a wonderful day and a blessed week. Take care. Bye-bye.